Hey guys, thank you very much for joining me. Now, I haven't been very active recently on either YouTube or Instagram, so I apologize for that, but uh, I've just been busy with work, and to be honest, I haven't had much going on collecting-wise, so uh, that is the reason for that. Uh, so I've got a bit of catching up to do with people's videos, a lot of catching up to do with people's videos and uh, posts on Instagram and that sort of thing. But uh, I thought I'd do a video uh, sort of showing what I have been up to recently. Uh, it's a bit of a, a bits of video, a bits of this, bits of that. So like I said, there hasn't been a lot going on collecting-wise uh, around here anyway, uh, Melbourne, Australia. And um, so I've sort of been messing around with the 3D printer that I bought uh, a couple of months ago messing around with a few uh, different six inch accessory and diorama designs um, so I'll uh, give you a little update on that a bit later on um, I have made a few pre-orders recently and I made them through Dorkside Toys now I don't have any affiliation with these guys but um, I have bought from them quite a few times in the past and they have actually, I don't know how they've done it, but they've done some sort of deal with Australia Post uh, to get cheaper shipping rates from those guys in the US to here in Australia. And I think it's something like, it seems to be like half the cost of whatever the US Postal Service wanted to charge for shipping. Like I said, I don't know how they've done it, but they have. So I've made a few pre-orders um, with these guys and the best thing about ordering with Dogside Toys is they don't charge you until they actually get the stock in their uh, in their possession in their warehouse or whatever so uh, unlike some scumbag online stores here in Australia who charge you up front five or six months in advance and then cancel your orders uh, these guys don't charge it until they actually get the stock in hand. So, uh, one of the things that I pre-ordered is this. Uh, it's what is it? Ultimate. Uh, there it is. Ultimate Nika Ultimate Predator. It's not Predator Two. It's the original Predator. Ultimate Jungle Hunter. Now I do have a Jungle Hunter, but it's the 30th anniversary version, and it has a different head. It's got the mandibles exposed, and it doesn't come with a mask. This one has a lot more accessories, so um, looks really cool, and I can't wait to get that. Supposedly, it's going to be available in March, but uh, I haven't heard anything yet. Still, nice. Now, I also pre-ordered a couple of these, uh, the Vintage Collection, the reissue of the Vintage Collection Gamorrean Guards. I do have an original uh, Vintage Collection Gamorrean Guard carded, but I don't have any loose, so I thought I'd buy a couple of those for to put on the barge, and these are estimated to arrive in July. Uh, also, the uh, the Vintage Collection Tatooine Skiff Guard 3-pack, I ordered a couple of those. One, I don't know how these are going to be packaged, I don't know if the packaging has been released yet, I don't think it has. But I ordered two of these, one to open and one to keep carded or boxed. Um, I do have a vise arm already loose, but uh, I don't have the other two figures here, so I thought, what the hell, I'd, all, I'd order that. Um, so that's very nice as well. And most importantly, I was able to order, and you can as well if you want, uh, the Return of the Jedi Tatooine skiff which would look amazing next to the Soul Barge when that turns up so I pre-ordered one of those alright onto the Black Series archive toy hunting now on the way home from work today I stopped off at a Toy World store literally f five minutes before it was about to close and uh, this is what I found Alright, so I started hunting for these guys again after Mr. Rogue Kwan posted on Instagram that he found them at a Big W store up in Queensland. 
Now, I checked out a few big W stores down here in Melbourne, in Victoria, but I couldn't find them. And on the way home from work today, I decided to once again try a Toy World store because I'd heard they had shown up in Toy World stores uh, probably a month or two ago now. And believe it or not, they were there. So I think they must have just cracked open a case because I'm pretty sure there was two of everything. Um, as you can see here, they cost forty dollars each. So that's the uh, that's the problem. Forty dollars for a Black Series six-inch figure. Um, I mean, they're nice. They're really nice, but forty dollars nice. Well, at the end of the day, I paid it. Look, forty dollars again. Um, so they had Boba Fett as well, and I didn't pick that up because I already have a knockoff version that is really good. So I thought I'd save myself 40 bucks, and uh, I just got the other three. All right, so I'll take a, a quick closer look at each figure. I'll uh, give you my thoughts on each one. I'll try and be positive. Apparently I'm a bit too negative when it comes to Star Wars figures. But uh, anyway, uh, so IG-88, he, uh, he looks, the sculpt looks nice. Um, again, uh, you got your usual plain black plastic weapons without any paint on them. So that's, oh, sorry, I'm being negative. That's awful. But um, yeah, and he's got a like a vibro axe or a vibro blade or whatever it is that fits into his backpack thing. And that looks nice. That's been painted very well. The figure itself has been painted well. It's um, got your sort of silver shades of droid, different silver shades of droid, but there's sort of brass colored areas um, I don't know if that's screen accurate I didn't go back and check that out before making this video and then he's got sort of rubber pieces on his elbows they look really cool whether they'll stand up over time I don't know I don't think they will but um God, I'm being negative again um, but he's short he's a bit short but um Yeah, nice. I mean, they've done the, the articulation well with all the pipes and hoses and that sort of stuff. Bosky Bosk. Bosky Bosk, I was really looking forward to this guy. Um, Bosk's Bounty, if you watch this, you'll be you'll be proud because uh, I know you love your Bosk and uh, this is a really cool figure. Again, not much paint on the, the weapon. I guess you can customise that with a bit of dry brushing and that sort of thing. But uh, the figure itself looks amazing. He's, the skin, the reptilian skin look, they've painted that perfectly. That looks really nice on his head and his arms. He's got a, an articulated jaw. Uh, the flight suit looks great. I think there's a bit of a, a, a wash over that, dirty wash. The webbing and all sort of stuff, the loose webbing looks great. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe the hands and the feet could have been done a little bit better. I don't know. I the feet a little bit too large and the hands a little bit too small. I'm not sure. But um, overall, I think they did a, a pretty good job with Bosky Bosk. And then actually, to be honest, this is the figure that I was looking forward to the most. Luke in his A New Hope X-wing pilot garb. The helmet looks great. Obviously, it's a removable helmet. The paint looks nice. A uh, couple of minor blemishes, but uh, that's nitpicking. Now, it's a nice tight fit, which is good in some ways, but I wouldn't want to be putting it on and removing it too often because obviously it could... Uh, rub the paint off the hair and that sort of thing. Look at that head sculpt. I've always loved this head sculpt. So you can see a bit of a comparison there with the original Luke Stormtrooper figure, which I believe is the same head sculpt. Just the uh, the current X-Wing pilot Luke has the face printing techno uh, technology. And I think this head sculpt is so much better than the 40th anniversary and the uh, Black Series uh, Landspeeder Luke head sculpts that it's not funny but with the the face printing technology 
they've absolutely knocked it out of the park. So, good on you, Hasbro. And last up, I thought I'd give you a bit of a look at a, a uh, Black Series 6-inch style diorama piece that I've been working on. It's based around, obviously, uh, the 3D printed cantina booth pieces that I have shown previously. And it's just a little section of the cantina, just one booth. And as you can see there, it's uh, showing Greedo about to get his ass kicked by the coolest character in Star Wars ever. It needs a little bit more work done on the plastering and it needs a light on the table in the middle of the booth and some paint and that sort of thing. So once that is sorted out, I'll do a, a dedicated video on this and probably on Instagram as well. All right, folks, that's about it for now from me. As you can see here, I'm very, very happy to finally have the Empire Strikes Back Bounty Hunter team together in six inch form wow they uh they look great don't they don't forget to comment like and subscribe and tell me your firstborn child if you like this video thanks for watching and as always may the force be with you